Wow, one people. Welcome back to Cook and Vibe. Welcome back to Cook and Vibe, man. We're outside. We're outside. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I told you I'm going to bring you something special. Yeah? The watermelon shrimp episode has hit 100k. Thank you very much. Big up all the subscribers. Big up all the supporters. It means a lot. Trust me. So today, Yeah man, it's a blessing the channel's working and if it's working then we do more work. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, today you're gonna need two jelly coconuts. Just not over my food. You're gonna need two jelly coconuts, alright? You're gonna need some salt, some curry powder, chili powder, some oil. Sour cream, some fresh coriander, some ginger, four cloves of garlic, a lemon, and chicken breast. I've got diced up chicken breast in there, ready to go. I'll give you a close up of everything. Filming on my own today. I'm on my ones, all lonely. <laughs> nah, cool. Today I'm at all our vibes, you know? Yeah, man. So today I'm on my own, so I'm just filming on my own because the weather was, you know what the English weather is like, man. So I see the sunshine come on, I have the jelly cool kind of thing, so I'm just like, alright, man. But just. Huh? Yeah, man. So, um, let me give you a close up everything, people. Season, we have a season. Why y'all? So yeah, like I say, you want diced chicken breast. Um, I've added the curry powder already. Add some chili powder. Come on, that's stuck in there. That's it. Add some chili powder. I'm gonna add some salt. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna crush up the garlic and we're gonna crush up the ginger and make that a little paste and then add that in. Yeah man. We want to make a paste out the the ginger and the garlic, like I said, you know. Yeah, nice fresh ginger. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. mash up the garlic and the ginger in there you don't have to proper proper mash it up just mash it up a little bit you know so we're gonna add that now and we're gonna add the sour cream you know what I mean yeah now we're gonna add just like not a lot just like a you see how much I've put in there not a lot you know so yeah man, we are going to mix this round now. I seasoned up. 
Now, we're gonna add the lemon and the coriander. Fresh thing, you know, your man have to be fresh, man. Is it me? So I've added half a lemon. You can see how much coriander I've added. So we just gotta make sure you wash it before, when you take the coriander off the bush or whatever you're using it from, make sure you wash it, yeah? So, I'm gonna mix this into it now. And then the chicken is ready to go. Why are you? Mad move. Oh, once you've seasoned your chicken, you want to add some onion. I did cut up one and a half onion and I put it inside. Now we're going to mix and blend. We're going to cover it with some foil and we are going to start cutting up the coconut. All right, soon forward. <coughs> yes, I am. We are gonna cut up the coconut now. Is it me? Yeah, we're there under the banana tree. Is it me? This is Cooking Vibes mascot. Say what I go on to the banana tree. I don't know. So yeah, um, I swear a fly just went up my nose then, blood. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna cut the coconut. So you wanna cut the top off and then just bust open the little hole. Obviously I'm filming on my own, so it's quite hard to show you exactly what I'm doing. Some more time I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. Do it and then show you. Umberclad, fucking camera, stay still, bro. Blood clot falling over, fam. Flies, man. Ah, oh, people, this is hard work. Man, stop blowing the wind. Oh, I'm trying to do this on my own, blood, and it's just going wrong. Yeah, there's flies in my face. The phone keeps falling over. All right, but yeah, we're here. Um, yeah. We have bust the jelly coconut, all right? So, I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to tip it too much. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm, I don't, I don't even know if I'm in shot. Uh, why are you? But yeah, um, I don't know if you can see that. I'll just spill it. I told you it's going, it's going fucking wrong. Sorry my language, but I've had enough, yeah? Listen to me. Once you've cut open the jelly coconut, cut it up the top, right? And then chop it along, bust the coconut. Yeah? Just look how to do it on YouTube or something. <laughs> Alright, do not waste this water. Do not waste this water. Now I'm gonna drink this water on camera. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna go all down me because that's my luck today. So I'm gonna try and be cool. So let me start that again. Yo, don't waste none of this water. This is the cleanest water. This coconut water clean your heart. Yes, man. Breathing. Well, Matt, yo, proper, proper. Yeah, man. The one there, clean your heart. Fresh and clean. This is one's a good one. This one's a good one as well. Don't watch all the my mouth and things. Mmm. Yeah, man. So I'm going to cut up the other coconut. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the coconut with the chicken. Yes, I. We can't see it there. You know what I mean? That's why you want to cut them up and then we're going to put the chicken inside there. Yes, it be. <laughs> Wait to God, if I just caught on camera what just happened to me. So I just bust this second jelly coconut and as I bust it, yeah, and put the knife in, it just, all the water just splashed right back in my face. 
it's proper not guy well today, man. But yeah, so we, we have the coconuts cut and open. So that's where we're gonna put chicken inside there. And let me tell you something. So you see this water? Water. This is the cleanest water in the world. Yeah? It's the cleanest water in the world. I remember say that ain't come from no taps, no river, no stream. That's come from inside the coconut, you know. No man can touch it. You understand? The cleanest water. Little pieces of coconut in there from on inside, but obviously it's natural common. You get me? I'm saving that one there. I drunk one already. I'm saving that one there for tomorrow morning. You get me? So now we're gonna fill up these with chicken. Why are you? So now it's time to add oil. We're just gonna add. oil in there we're gonna mix that up little piece and then we're gonna start You know what I tried to do when I was watching, you know when like you, you know like when you're watching like cooking videos and they go quiet and you just watch them do what they're doing. Yeah, we're trying to do a little bit of that right now, people. Listen to the birds and the bees. Listen to the birds and the bees. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah man. We're gonna use something to put over the top of, of, of the um, coconuts. Um, you usually use a banana leaf. Uh, you might not have a banana leaf, so um, yeah, you might want to just Google what else to use. But I'm gonna use a piece of this. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna wash it inside and put it over that, over like that. All right. So as you can see, I put the banana. I've, I've, I've kind of covered it underneath, and then I'll put that on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. So after that, you need to get some flour and some water, and just make a dough like this. Yeah. Literally just flour and water. Mix it up. It's I. So as you can see, we've made like a little hat. Little hat little cover for the coconuts. With the flour and water, you know? Yeah. People, you can't cuss me about my wood again. Yeah? I just buy a wooly for cherry wood. So I'm a key on cuss me again. No sir. So right now. Yes, you know what time it is. Time to burn up the fire. Why oi? Yeah. So I'm gonna start the fire. I put some rosemary um, twigs on the bush on there just to um, get the fire going a little bit quicker, you know? Why oi? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, have you can see, I put, I put a little, why oi? <laughs> As you can see, I've put a little uh, tray thing on top. So, I'm going to keep them on there for about half an hour cooking like that, turning them around on the fire like that. And then we're going to fire up the blood clot thing. And um, yeah, so um, soon forward. Yes, man. We well, don't know. Big up everybody for liking, subscribing. You know, supporting the show. Cook and vibe, man. I really enjoyed doing it. I'm gonna be honest, people, I really enjoyed doing it. So, uh, yeah, man, as long as everybody's entertained and everybody keeps continuing to like it and, and stuff like that, you know, we will continue.
cut now. See, I can't go too close here, but you can hear it bubbling inside. Yeah, I hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah. All right. You had them on there for like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. Come up, my fire was taking ages to like. So now we're gonna put them inside the fire and we're just gonna rage the fire right over the top of it. Isn't it? Mean? Be careful when you place them in. I use some uh, some bills. We <laughs> not pay them now. I not pay them, but I just burn them, you know. Yeah. So now we're gonna put like some more wood over the top of it and just proper rage it up for another like half hour, 40 minutes. As you can see, they are underneath that fire there. You get me? Kayo arm blears them off. Zimmy. Uh, um, yeah, see with this one people, I'm not sh too sure with timing. So like I said, I had them on the top tip in there for like 30, 40 minutes. And then probably gonna like do them like this for like another half an hour, 40 minutes. You know what I'm saying? And then she should be ready. Yeah! So when they look like that, then you know, so they're ready. Chicken inside the jelly coconut on the fire. Gordon Ramsay, sit on your bamba club. You can hear it, right? I'm trying to go close so you can hear it, but let them cool down. Take my clothes and use or something, yeah? So once you open up the coconut, take off the top piece. You want to get like something like this to pull out the meat. And there you go. Chicken cooked in a coconut. Yeah, man. Outside, there's a bit of grass on there. <laughs> there's a little bit of grass on there, but don't worry about that. Yeah. Let's have a little taste because last time someone said, oh. Oh, it's good. So fresh. It's so fresh. All the t Because basically, the coconut jelly inside cooks with the chicken you know um, really fresh really fresh especially with the coriander you know what I mean but yeah people cook and vibe outside yeah man that was cook and vibe somebody else did told me last time that uh, I ended it too abruptly. Well, I am sorry about that. So let's sit down and say goodbye. For myself and the R, and for us to cook a vibe. Oh, it was hard work today. Oh, it was hard work. Yeah, it was hard work. But we done it. We done it in the end. This is a good one to do barbecues and everything there. You know what I'm saying? Um, eat it with rice and do some other things and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so people, don't forget to subscribe, like. And don't eat with your mouth open. <laughs> yeah man, we got everybody. It's cooking vibe. Why?